Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the Islamic Pulse talk show. We are speaking about Shaheed Mustafa Jamra. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the Islamic Pulse talk show. Dear viewers, we are here in the studio speaking with Sayyid Muhammad Hashimi and we are talking about Shaheed Mustafa Jamran, a very pivotal and important individual uh, who we see played a role in the Islamic revolution of Iran. Uh, so let's go ahead and invite our guests and speak about Shaheed Mustafa Jamran. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, welcome, uh, Sayyid uh, Hashimi, to the Islamic Pulse Talk. Wa alaikum as wa rahmatullah to you and all the viewers. Thank you for inviting me. Uh, Jazakallah, Sayyid Hashimi. Thank you so much for uh, again taking time out of your schedule joining us. Um, you know, we were coming up upon the martyrdom anniversary of Shaheed Mustafa Chamran, and so we thought, you know, what a great opportunity to be able to speak a little bit about this Shaheed. Um, there are probably many people across the world who who don't really know uh, a lot about Shaheed Mustafa Chamran, right? But individuals who um, when one does a little bit of research, they really shine like stars in the uh, history and the pages of the Islamic Revolution. Uh, so to talk a little bit about Shaheed uh, Jamran, uh, we hand it over to you in the name of Allah. Thank you very much. A'udhu billahi minash shaitan ar-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wa sallallahu ala sayyidina wa nabiyyina Muhammad wa alihi al-tahirin. Ihen assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, we have this tawfiq to talk about this great martyr uh, of our time who I personally have some you know connection with because you know the one of the first times that I felt somehow uh, the, the, the spirituality of a person mm -hmm. it was the time that I was visiting the the place that he got martyred in Khuzestan mm -hmm. interesting uh, yes mm -hmm. southwest of Iran it's in a place called Dehlaviye. <coughs> it's a building dedicated to him. And he, he got martyred in, 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 in that area. And it was so, you know, mesmerizing for me and amazing for me. And all those people who, brothers who were there, some of the friends of Shaykh Chambran, they would, you know, narrate for us that what happened in that place and time. Um, it was amazing for me. So mm. Shaykh Chamran, Inshallah. for many of the, in that time I wasn't a Taleb, I, mm. was, I was a student in the university. And um, for many of the young Iranians and even, um, we will talk inshallah about Lebanon, even the Arab uh, revolutionaries, mm. Chamran is a symbol, mm. you know, he Mashallah. represents many of those values that we are seeking for. But to know Chamran, Shahid Chamran, we need to know Imam Khomeini mm. before that. Interesting. Because mm. he was raised in this maktab, school of thought of Imam Khomeini. Mm -hmm. Yes, Shahid Chamran, even before the Islamic Revolution, he was so active. And um, uh, inshallah, I will talk about this. Mm. He went to Lebanon about seven years before the Islamic Revolution and started to uh, started some, some acti sort of activities there. Mm -hmm. But this, you know, Personality, because Anasu Ma'adan, people are like the mines, like Amir al Mumin said. Mm. Treasure then, mines. Yes, mm. and they are full of treasures, mm. but they need some miners. Right. You know, to dig yeah. and, you know. Yeah, that's uh, very well put. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and, and mm. to find those, you know, treasures, gold, mm. and uh, to refine that mm. and to purify that. And then Shahid Chamran is one of those gold mines mm. in his personality. When we talk about Imam Khomeini, like what I said on different occasions in this show, is that kind of a spirituality that comes and originates from the society, mm. not from the cave of self-isolation. Right. Right. And Shahid Chamran is one of the most important representatives mm. of this school of thought. And if you want to show anyone what is the result of Imam Khomeini's school of thought, just point out mm. Shahid Chamran. This is one of the fruits of the tree of spirituality of Khomeini. Mm. Rahmatullah mm. Okay. Well, what is interesting about Shaykh Chamran is he experienced and had all those, you know, uh, opportunities or all those chances that many of people, even Muslim people, 
they spend their life mm. to have those. They would die for it. Yes, mm. they would die for that. Mm. He had, you know, he was a brilliant student in Tehran University. Then he went to uh, United States of America. Mm. He did his master's in Texas. And then he went to California and, and, hit, and did his PhD in electrical engineering um, in, in Berkeley, Berkeley University. Berkeley. Yeah. yeah, yeah. One of Berkeley the University. best universities mm. of the United States of America and of the world. And in that time, he had the chance and opportunity to be a professor mm. in that mm. university. And he had the job. He married, he, he, he got married there and he had a wife and three children in the mm. United States of America. Mm. So it's done. Mm. Yes. Yeah. I mean, For that, many of us, it's done. It's, yeah, okay. he's, it's the end his of the world. life is made. Yeah. Yes. I, I did everything. What more could you want? I'm successful. <laughs> this is the success. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, this is so. I mean, this. I, I want to pause here because uh, you know uh, it really is um, even in the present day. So we're talking about like you know pre nineteen seventy nine. Yes, yes. You know this. This like, so almost fifty yeah, sixty years right, ago. Yeah. Years ago, right? And yeah. so fifty sixty years later, now if somebody had the opportunity to you know um, get a degree in their home country, yeah. um, you know, in these you know quote unquote third world countries, right? Um, and then has an opportunity to go to a developed or first yeah. world quote unquote country, you know, and pursue higher education, yeah. you know, achieve a master's, achieve a PhD, you know, have a family, have a home, you know, have a have you know money, bank yeah. account, right? Um, I mean that have even, respect, yeah, have respect, yeah. have you know, and even in the present day, th this seems to be a big deal, and a lot of people, it's as done. you said, yeah. would die for. So yeah. sixty years ago. This individual had all, I mean, yes. what worldly you could want from life he had. Yes. Mm. And he was really a genius. Mm. He had so many inventions, uh, even in that time. Right. And right. even if, in, even when he came back to Iran. But, you know, in that time was the time of the dominance of the Israel over the uh, mm. Arab mm. countries, unfortunately, in the, in the early 50s or, uh, mm. you know, it, 60s, yeah, 60s yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and right, 70s. Yeah. He decided to leave mm. everything mm. and everyone mm. and abandon all those good things in the United States of America mm. and come to the Middle East. And you know what is interesting? He didn't came to. He didn't come to Iran. Mm. Mm. He somehow mm. felt that he needs to help mm. the Islamic Ummah, mm. Islamic nation. First, he went to Egypt, and then he went to Lebanon. And he resided in south of Lebanon in the poorest class of people in that time. Unfortunately, in that time, Shia people were mm. the yeah. poorest class and community in the Lebanese, mm, in, in Lebanon, in mm. Lebanese society. Mm. And Shay Chamran in that time, because in Iran it was the time of Shah, many of the ways were, were black, but blocked. Mm. Shay Chamran then alongside Imam Musa Saj, Mm. who needs another discussion, inshallah, mm. he started to teach all those young people. He, he, he built a school for them. He reshaped the Shia community. He helped them economically, scientifically, and he gave them this education and this courage and confidence with leaving everything. And in that time, right, right. Shamran has nothing. Right. He's not a professor in the and, you know, mm. Beirut University. Mm. No, he's in south of Le Lebanon mm. and got nothing. And he's just an activist now, yeah. helping other people. Yeah. You know, some people may say that this is insanity. Mm. And maybe they're right. <laughs> if you yeah, look at this the, by just yeah, this worldly conception, why? Conception, yeah. You leave everything for what? Yeah. And you, you don't know even if this activity will be uh, successful. You don't know that. Sure. You know, maybe the government comes and ruins everything. You, you know nothing about that. Right. But Shamran had a purpose, yeah. had a greater yeah. picture for Islam, for the Islamic Oman. That is so important. Unfortunately, some of our brothers and sisters, when they you know, leave their country, when they leave this, uh, this, this, this space that, and this place that they were born in, they sometimes they become universal people you know you mm. need to think about the vote mm. think about the 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 clim climate change think about these things mm. we're not just iran iran or pakistan Iraq. no mm. we are 
this is like a big mm. village. Yes, this, this global world. village. Mm. And I maybe mm. hope if if Western Western powers, if they thought like that, it was very good. Mm. But they don't. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately, right. for mm. centuries, for hundreds of years, they oppressed the people right. of this region. Right. And now that we want to do something, our youngest is sometimes. They say, no, we are li going to help the entire universe, the right. entire world, right. which is not a bad thing. Yeah. But you need to think about this area, this region that was always left behind, yeah. forced to be behind and, and oppressed. Mm -hmm. and, and, and all of these res resources were sucked by those people. Mm -hmm. it, it, if I kind of add to the example, so it, it, this global village is made up of various different houses. Right? Yeah. So why would you not respect and protect and defend and build your own house yes, as a part of this global village. Yes, okay. you know, that's what they're if doing. If you build that, it will <laughs> right? help. Not only yeah. are they building their own yeah. houses, but they're destroying yeah. ours yeah. in this yeah. global yeah. village. Yeah. And even if you want to link, think universally, okay, you, you have to care about the history. Yeah, yeah. The history yeah. of this region. Shai Chamran mm. wasn't like that. Mm. He wanted to help the mm. human beings. Mm. The entire mm. world mm. but with helping mm. the region which was oppressed yeah. and which is the origin of the true teachings mm. of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that mm. is so important mm. this mm. is why he came back to Lebanon he tried so hard he established the Amal movement mm -hmm. before the Hezbollah and we can say that the uh, Shaykh Chamran is so, somehow the forefather of mm. even Hezbollah mm. and many of the resistance movements in South Lebanon and in Palestine. And, uh, you know, near the close of the revolution, after the revolution, he came back to Iran where he was born. Mm. And that is important. Shaykh Chamran, when he came back, he again dedicated everything. Mm. He was the defense minister in the first government of um, Islamic mm. Republic. But even though he was a minister, after the initiation of the, of the war, he went to the front line. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Can you show me a mm. defense <laughs> no. minister that they goes to the front? Mm. Not just, you know, they some, won't sometimes. They not even send their son. To yeah, them. they, they won't. Mm. Sometimes we go there to demonstrate ourselves mm. and to give, you know, uh, gi gi give our soldiers this message that we are here and we are supporting mm. you we are supportive but literally we're not there no yeah no. we're not going to fight we're not going to mm. take any gun okay but chamran lived in the front lines mm. and shall i talk about his martyrdom mm. and you will see what mm. happens to him mm. and he's tried so hard to develop because in that time all the ties mm. with iran was cut during the the yes. Muqaddas, the sacred defense. Yes, mm. in the name and mm. in the guilt of resisting against those oppressors. Mm. So they've got nothing, despite yeah. the fact Saddam Hussein had everything. Yeah, he so well yeah. over 50 countries supported yes. him in this He war. was a very nasty dictator, mm. Mm. you know, with all the principles, with all the standards of the Western liberalism, Western mm. uh, ideas mm. and, mm. and a school of thought, with all those standards, Saddam was a bad guy, mm. but yes. mm. they helped him mm. with every means they could. Yeah, everything, money, wealth, with the bullets, missiles, intelligence, chemical missiles, mm. money, intelligence, oil, mm. and we've got nothing. Mm. Shahid Chamran, with his brilliant mind, mm. this is where your expertise can be beneficial, <coughs> came here and started to develop the first and basic layers of the defense mm. uh, force of the Islamic Republic of Iran was mm. founded by Shaykh Chamra. Mm. Interesting. For the first mm. time, the first submarine, mm. you know, some initiations in, the, in, 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 in uh, creating missiles and, mm. and things like that. And he was really a genius person. Mm. And he really dedicated everything. Because even in, when he was in Lebanon, his American wife, because he, he, he mm. married a woman in uh, United States, 
they came with him to Lebanon, but mm. she abandoned Shay Chandler because it was so hard, and we, we're of not course, going to blame yeah. her. Yeah. It was a so difficult yeah, the life. Poverty and the poverty. Mm. They've got nothing in Lebanon, mm. and Shay Chambron married, uh, got married again in Lebanon with a Lebanese sister. I think she's still alive, uh, as as mm. far as I know. Interesting. Yeah. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> when he was in Iran, Shay Chambron. He started to, for the first time, he started to, uh, to, to establish the first partisan, you know, Basiji kind of force. Mm. Mm. You know, mm. somehow Shahid Chamran is the father of Basij. Mm. Because he aligned with Imam Khamenei, they were uh, cooperating with, with each mm. other, that is so important. Right. They uh, established a Satad, you know, in mm. Farsi we say Satad Jangai Namunazam. Namunazam is the opposite of mm. classic. Mm. you know battles mm. they established kind of guerrilla yes guerrilla yes. warfare type thing. yes yes mm. not 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 classic army it yeah, wasn't yeah. classic army. it yeah. was so different because mm. shay chamron figured out that we cannot defeat saddam with a classic mm. army no yeah because the in whole world is supporting us, saddam. Us, yes in in, mm. in 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 the armor and in the money mm. everything saddam has yeah. many things that we yeah. don't have so he started to you know shape this kind of battle against mm, them, mm. which is the origin, origin, we can say origin mm. of the future fights of Hezbollah mm -hmm. and Iran and Syria. You know, the mastermind mm -hmm. of all mm -hmm. of that was Mustafa Chamran. Mm. Yes. Uh, um, say it, and uh, well, I'd like to ask you, you know, um, in your research, were you able to kind of pinpoint what exactly it was that? Um, encouraged or drove or motivated Shahid Jamran uh, to move from all this wealth and this because yeah. I think we haven't we haven't we've we've already seen him move yeah. and we're moving really quickly you know towards uh, his martyrdom it seems but I wanted to ask you you know in anywhere did you find what it was this you know motivating factor what what clicked in his in his mind you know yeah. that made him uh, do this this great move yeah very good question Shai Chamron, Sayyidina, Shai Chamron is really, was really a Irfani figure, mm. even before the, the, the Iran-Iraq mm. war. Mm. And we can see that through his notes. Mm. He has different books, different you know, di diaries. The book is called Lob Lobnan. Mm. It's all about Lebanon. And he was always searching for mm. the, a powerful source of that spirituality. Right. And he saw that, as I said, through this social, you know, uh, societal activity mm. that he so did in he, Lebanon. Yeah, but, go ahead. Yes, yeah. No, 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 please, yeah. But then mm. he found this in Imam Khomeini in Iran. That is mm. so important. Imam Khomeini was the representative of everything that Shahid Chamran wanted. Mm. Shahid Chamran wasn't with Imam Khomeini from the beginning, you know. He was a young person, he was graduated from university and then went to the United States of America. He knew, for sure, he knew Imam Khomeini, but he wasn't close in that mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. But then gradually he got closer and closer and found mm -hmm. Imam Khomeini that he, he has some notes Imam, uh, yeah. about Imam Khomeini. Yeah. He represents everything that he wanted. Right. right. So he dedicated his life in the cause of Imam Khomeini, for the cause right. of Imam Khomeini. Mm -hmm. I think he had this potential inside mm -hmm. and he could find Imam Khomeini as the, mm. the, the, the source of, of his mm. dreams. Mm. Yeah. Well, this, what I was going to add was that it seems like, so in Farsi they say, you know, you have this dard yeah. dil right? It seemed like he had this concern yeah, yeah, yeah. for the people. Yeah. He, and, and, and he especially had a concern for people for his own region, you know? Yeah. He had this, you know, I say the, maybe in Farsi, they say this uh, Islami or this yes. uh, this religious honor, this honor yeah. and this pride for his people, his community, you know, where he grew up in, his region, yeah. the Muslims, the Shia, you know, and that kind of pain and that kind of yeah. concern Mashallah. started to drive him towards this side of the world Mashallah. and detached him from this wealth and status and you know and these kind of things. And then, as you said. It seems like that um, concern that he had within himself for the Muslims in general and the downtrodden, you know, and the oppressed, he saw, as you said, manifested in Imam Khomeini. Yeah. And yeah. he said, you know, these are the same things that, yeah. uh, no, please continue. It was really, mm -hmm. mashallah, very, very beautifully said, Sayyid. Many people, 
they found their lost one in Imam Khomeini. Mm. It's interesting. Even the leftist communist people, mm. Mm. even those people who literally didn't believe in any mm. spirituality, they mm. be believed in the materialism, the social justice idea, social justice as mm. they say, mm. even the Iranian liberals, mm. many of them, they felt there's something in that man. Yeah. And I know even until now, they cannot explain mm. that. Mm. Those who sure. do not believe in the real spirituality, in the truth in this world, they cannot describe the personality of Imam Khomeini. Which is a comprehensive personality. Yes, yes. Mm. They, at last they said this is a charisma mm. that you no, could find in yeah. some other leaders. <laughs> no, okay? But when we mm. look at Imam Khomeini, it's different. Shahi Chamran, mm. with that spiritual religious background, and it wasn't the nationalism, because right, first he right. went to Lebanon. He's right. Iranian, he's, he's Iranian, he went to Lebanon. Why yeah. Lebanon first? Egypt yeah. and then Lebanon? Why? Right. He understood that. Mm. And he looked at Imam Khomeini as the means of elevation. That is so important. Mm. Mm. Others, they would see Imam Khomeini as a very powerful figure mm. that they can, you know, somehow stick to Imam Khomeini and by that, elevate they can, themselves. yes, they can mm. elevate themselves. Even they, maybe, mm. it wasn't mm. always a selfish Sure, sure. Aim. Maybe they wanted a social aim, some of those Marxists. They, they thought that with Khomeini, mm. they can defeat this regime mm. of Shah. Okay? Sure, sure. But it was so important that they could not understand what is this Khomeini. Mm. Chamran could understand that. Mm. That is a difference between Chamran mm. and some other people, like Masoud Rajavi, the head mm. of the MKO. Mm. Okay? Mm. Chamran, because mm. he had that conception, Mm. He could somehow understand mm. the personality of Imam Khomeini and he lived in the ocean of this, this spirituality mm. and he succeeded. Mm. He could so, reach. Yeah. And so you were going to go towards the, the martyrdom of Shaykh Jamran. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, yeah. I want you to, to, yes. yeah, to, to not Chamran, forget that part. Yes, mm -hmm. Shaykh Jamran was always in the front line, as I said. And Shaykh Jamran, he has different notes. He used to write for himself. Mm, mm. And these are so beautiful mm. notes. In this show, I just brought, it is, as said, the final note of Shai Chandra. Mm. This is before mm. his martyrdom. He is not aware, apparently, about his martyrdom because his martyrdom was sudden. Mm. You know, a <coughs> bullet came into mm. his brain and I think his neck. And after a while, he couldn't breathe and uh, mm. he went to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But before that, he has a very beautiful mm. note here that by that we can understand who is Chamran. And maybe he is greater than what we think. What we think. Yeah. First, I, I read the Farsi yeah, one sure, and yeah. then the yeah. English translation. He says here, it's so beautiful. Ey hayat, ba tu vida' mi konam, ba hameye mazahir va jabarutat. He says, oh life, he's talking mm. to the, his life. Mm. Yes, I say goodbye to you with all your manifestations mm. and every grandeur thing that mm. you have. A mm. paha mm. man. He's talking to his feet. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I know that you are self-sacrificing. Oh my, my feet, mm. I know that you are self-sacrificing. And at my command, you eagerly move toward martyrdom like lightning. But I have a bigger dream. Be firm in my iron strength. In peykar kuchak, vali sangin az arzuha va naqshaha va umidha va mas'uliyatha ra be surat matlub be har nukhte dilkhah beresanid. And he says what? This is small body. Bring the weight of this small body, bring the weight of dreams, plans, hopes, and responsibility of this small body to any desired point at the desired speed. And then he said what? Darin lahazata akhar umr. At this final moments of my life. Mm. How he knows that? <laughs> yes, it's quite amazing. Darin lahazata akhar umr. Aberuye mara hafs شما سالهای دراز به من خدمت ها کرده اید از شما آرزو می کنم که این آخرین لحظه را به بهترین وجه ادا کنید and he says what 
in these last moments of my life, protect my honor. Mm -hmm. You have served me for many years. Mm -hmm. I wish you to spend this last moment in the best possible way. Mm -hmm. so, Can um, we believe mm -hmm. that a military man is writing that? Mm -hmm. And who was, who was a civilian? A civilian. Mm. I know. He's uh, fighting. Electric, electrical engineering. Yes, because in the, mm. in the fight, in the battle, you know, your, your heart, sometimes your heart turns to stone. Yeah. You sure. won't talk like that. Mm. He mm. is the soldier of Mab Khomeini. Mm. It really reminds and me of... And he is... Mm. Of Shaid, who? Shaid Hash Qasim Suleimani. Shaid Hash mm. Mm. And they are all the mm. students of Karbala. Because yeah. in Karbala, you know, Everything that you hear from Imam Hussein Ali his campaigns is soft words, mm. beautiful words. Mm. Even though they're the most brave and courageous of, yes. of fighters. And yes, beautiful words. Ya nafs min ba'd al Hussein hum wa ba'dahu la kunt an takun Abu al-Fadl Abbas. It's beautiful. Mm. Very beautiful. Look, it was always a contradiction mm. that if you are doing tough jobs, how can you have soft hearts? Right. This is what we see in Amir al-Mu'minin. Right. Fihi al -azdad. Mm. All the contradictions are in him. Together. Yeah. Yeah. Without any contradiction. Right. And these are the students of Ali. Mm. And in the fight, he doesn't write, I'm going to behead every single mm. one of those people. No, mm. no. He's mm. talking to his feet. Mm. He's talking to his life, to his heart. Mm. This is saying, I don't know how to say that. Yeah. This is different. Yeah, it's, it's we don't have such a thing in our world. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And really, unfortunately, unfor this is saddening that many of the followers of Ahlul Bayt, mm -hmm. they don't know this follower of Ahlul Bayt. Mm -hmm. and, and maybe even worse, you know, uh, Sayyid Hashimi, it is to the point where I think naturally human beings, you know, in this fitra type manner, in their, in their nature, they're looking for these kind of individuals, yeah, yeah. right? Marshall. And so, um, and this is why you see this giraish, this kind of tendency yeah. to move towards Hollywood heroes. Yeah, yeah, Marshall. You know? Marshall. Uh, and so, so many of us are it's stuck artificial, in superficial, these artificial, yeah. you know, fake, uh, yeah. not real, Marshall. you know, heroes which have their own problems, by the way, yeah. you know, uh, whether it's ideological or... Um, they have issues in these role but they models that they create. Some of the fitri of, powers you know, and tendencies. Uh, yeah. And so, but here we have real life, yeah. you living know, human <laughs> being, living yeah. individuals who are yeah. these role models, who yes. were like these, who yes. are these, these um, unsung heroes, if you will. Yes. Mm. And he's not just a powerful person. Mm. You see the power and compassion, yeah. the power and love, yeah. the love and intellect. Yeah. Yeah, science mm. and religion. Every mm. contradiction in our life. Mm. You see that Shaykh Shama sees. Mm. There is no contradiction. You know, between. Sayyid, I, I want to really ask you, I know we might be going towards the, the end of the, the program time-wise, um, but I wanted to make a connection, you know, with our lives on a very practical level, you know. Um, and and that's this example that we we take from Shaykh Jamran, from the yeah. many things that we learn from him. But one of the things, and I, I'd like to get your comment on that, is this idea that you can have, you know, status and wealth and position and, you know, you can have all, anything that you, and everything you want on a very material, worldly aspect, you know, but you give it up for religion, you give it up for Islam, you give, you give it up for the wali of your time, the imam of your time. And it's really beautiful. We have these different themes now mixing together, whether it's Karbala or it's martyrdom, you know, or Shahid Jamran and these kind of things. Um, if you'd like to comment on that, this yeah. idea of when the time, uh, you know, when it is necessary, you know, that you have to sacrifice these things for mm. a much greater cause. This is because of the bigger picture. Mm. These people saw and believed in the bigger picture of this universe. Because they believed that إِنَّمَا الْحَيَاتُ الدُّنْيَا لَعِبٌ وَلَا They believed in that. This worldly life mm. is just a game and amusement. Mm. Okay? Mm. This wasn't an, a, a slogan, just a slogan for them. No. They, it was their they belief. It. it was a reality. So mm. when you see the bigger picture, mm. will you stick with the smaller part of this puzzle? Mm. One. 
Make yourself busy. When you see that if you study here, you will be qualified to get into Harvard University, okay? Will you spend your time just playing PS5? You won't do that. This is all about the bigger picture. Yeah. They had, they saw, and they mm -hmm. believed because always the bigger pictures. It requires sacrifice and pain, even in this worldly life. Mm -hmm. If you want to be successful, you have to go through many trials and turbulences. Right, right. And if you want to reach something higher and greater than this, you have to suffer this pain. Yeah. yeah. This is what Shai Chamra is suffering. Um, can, can I yeah. ask you one more thing before we end? Um, and that is, uh, I'd like to, so, uh, you know, naturally, uh, you know, we made this connection with Imam Hussain, and so. um, it's interesting because Muharram is coming up quite soon, sure. uh, and this idea of shahadat and sacrifice and you know, I mean, just this, I'm, and I really encourage all of the viewers to go and, you know, read more about Shaykh Jamran um, and, and to really, because it's, you know, he ha he really, and again, I emphasize because many of us um, in, you know, the Western world, we have a relatively good material life, you know, but we're so attached to it that my fear is, and even for, you know, myself, my fear is that when the time for sacrifice comes, I'm not able to detach myself from all of yeah. these worldly things, yeah. you know. And so the sooner you prepare yourself, you know, you understand the bigger picture, as you mm -hmm. said, you know, the easier it is when the time comes to make a decision. You know, like, like Shahid Chamran, he just packed up and he moved. Yeah. And he didn't just move to, you know, another developed country. He went yeah. to the poorest neighborhood, yeah. you know, the poorest area of, of Lebanon. Um, I mean, it's, it's a huge thing. You know, but it takes time to be able to. And I want to kind of close our talk show today on this idea that when, you know, uh, Imam Mahdi, uh, may Allah hasten his reappearance, when his reappearance does occur, that the people have to be ready to sacrifice yeah. and, and they have to take these people as role models. If, if you could comment on that. Yes, there's a narration from Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi um, Wasallam. I'm not, you know, mm, quoting sure. exactly, yeah. but. Yeah. Uh, it is like is a kharaj al qaim, things like that. Sure. Imam Sahib Salam Allah says that dakhla fi kharaj minhu man kana yara annahu min ahlihi wa dakhla fihi shibhu abadat al shams wa al qamar. When the Imam comes, reappears mm. Imam al Mahdi Salam Allah Alayhi, kharaj minhu man kana yara annahu min ahlihi. Some people who thought that they are the mm. companions of this truth, means the Imama, mm. they will mm. exit mm. the mm. circle, mm. Kharaja, mm. go out of the circle mm. of Imama. Mm. People who thought that yes, they, they thought were part of the maybe, inner circle. Yes, maybe, mm. maybe inner circle, mm. they thought that or they are Shia people, yeah, companions. Followers. Mm. And they, they will turn, actually leave. Yes, leave and turn away. Mm. And maybe stand against, we don't know. وَدَخَلَ فِيهِ شِبْهُ عَبَدَةِ الشَّمْسِ وَالْقَمَرِ And some people who are like moon worshippers and sun worshippers enter this truth. Mm. Mm. It is it's, it's really mind-blowing mm. because if you like think about mm. that, mm. and if you just consider yourself, mm. maybe one of those who go out from this line, it doesn't give you a peaceful life anymore. Yeah. So you need to test yourself. We need, I mean, we need yeah, to test course. ourselves. And, and we don't need to do that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests us mm. every day and every mm. week and every year the different, on different occasions, mm. even with a like or comment, mm. or creating a content, a social media, sure. okay? Or in, in you know, helping your, your, your mosque or your Hussein in, in that country, in that city. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, preserving you, the, the youth of your community from uh, mm -hmm. falling down into that filth. Mm -hmm. Okay? These are all your obligations. If you now are really ready to willingly sacrifice your time, maybe your money, mm -hmm. and, and your reputation, mm -hmm. which is the worst thing. If you are ready to do that, inshallah. And if I am ready to do that, inshallah. I'm hopeful that in the end of times, Imam al-Mahdi asks me to come 
I deliberately go to him. Mm, but it's not easy. Mm, but yes. it's not easy. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Jazakallah, thank you so Before much. Before Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah no, I please. I wanted to yeah. finish this yeah. note yeah. of Shaykh. Sure, Shaykh, sure, because it's sure. so beautiful. No, please, Inshallah, yeah. I ask yeah. Allah subhanahu yeah. wa ta'ala to, through this note, give us the barakah mm. sure. from the radiant mm. soul and the spirit of Shaykh Chamran to give this barakah to us and every viewer mm. that is viewing mm. this video now. Then he says, he's he was mm. talking to his feet and now mm. to his arms and his hands. Ey dast hai man, qavi yu dariq bashit. Ey chashman man, tizbin bashit. Ey qalb man, in lahazat akhirin ra tahammul kun. Oh my hands, be strong and precise. Oh my eyes, be sharp. Oh my heart, endure these last moments. Be shoma qool mi daham, ke pas az chand lahze, hamay shoma dar istirahati amiq. و ابدی آرامش خود را برای همیشه بیابید من چند لحظه بعد به شما آرامش می دهم آرامش ابدی mm. I promise you mm. that after a few moments all of you will find your peace forever in a deep and eternal rest I will give you peace a few in a few moments eternal peace mm. before the martyrdom and the final line چه این لحظات حساس وداع با زندگی و عالم لحظات لغای پروردگار و لحظات رقص من در برابر مرگ زیبا باشد and he says what the sensitive moments of saying how beautiful are, are these sensitive moments of saying goodbye to life and the world the moments of meeting the Lord and the moments of my dance mm. against death must be beautiful mm. this is Shaykh Chamran and this is our example of today's life insha'Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah give us this tawfiq to follow his mm -hmm. steps thank mm -hmm. you Sayyid Jazakallah thank you so much uh, Sayyid Ashimi for taking time out so. again and joining us and talking about this uh, very beautiful star from the maktab and the school of Imam Khomeini by the name of Shaheed Jamran. Jazakallah khair wa afiyah. Uh, and thank you dear viewers for joining us on the talk show. We were speaking about Shaheed Jamran, uh, his life and a whole bunch of other aspects and beautiful themes that came out from discussing this honorable martyr, this beautiful Shaheed. That's all from us for now. Fi amanullah and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.